Hi Art131, welcome back. Now we can focus on doing something besides worrying about what's going on out in the world. Um, the next project is a text project. I just want to let you know some of the stuff we're going to need. Um, there is a handout in Moodle. You got to look at it, okay? Um, it means we're going to make six letters that are going to be joined thematically. So you're going to have to read through this. I'm not going to waste your time reading through it when you can do that yourself, but that is up there in Moodle for you. This is an example of like a student sort of sketch up of one of their final pieces. Um, the letters do have to be a certain size. Um, so this is just a nice example of just a student who really hasn't finished it yet, but who has done their sketch out. For the first thing that we're gonna do for this project is just think of an idea. As you can see, the sample I already showed you had a theme to it, and they chose to use a word that related to that theme. You're not required to, but you can. There also is a Google Slides link that will give you student examples um, in Moodle that you can take a look at. Um, and I also have a link to a document like this with serif and sans serif text examples because we're gonna do some sketching of letter forms of serif and sans serif. Um, I also have a bunch of stuff laid out here, um, materials that you're gonna want to have. Um, if you don't have them, we're gonna use what you can get or what you have at home. Um, now, I have a very cheap watercolor set I got at Michael's. Um, I have my pit pens, which you should have. If you don't have those, a thin Sharpie will work. Um, regular pencils, a ruler. If you don't want to use watercolor, I got colored pencils that are just cheap Crayola ones. Um, and then for someone that's going to use colored pencils, I like this Bristol board paper. Um, you can get that at Michael's. You can order online. If you absolutely can't get it, just use copier paper, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, and then this is just an example of like some of the preliminary type sketches and examples that I've been doing for the project, all right? So the first thing you wanna think about is what kind of thing am I gonna do? Like um, I chose the theme of hot dogs because my daughter loves talking about hot dogs. I don't know where my example is. And so you wanna make a mind map of that and, and break it down, right? hot dog is the central thematic element and then what are things that go off it buns what kind of buns like maybe there's two types of buns that might shoot off of that or mustard maybe there's dijon mustard and yellow mustard or that kind of coarse mustard that some people like or maybe relish and maybe that's all under condiments so that we can break it down into like what types of visual elements can inform this larger theme right like if you notice this organic thing it just has like different fruits or vegetables in the negative space of the letters, right? So first things first is just thinking purely about what our idea is. So for Tuesday, you wanna be able to upload at some point into Moodle, there'll be a little like link forum for you to upload like your two project ideas. And don't worry about anything else, okay? Um, I'm gonna upload another video that's gonna go over serif and sans serif letters, this exact handout and with even more stuff on it, giving you examples of what those types of things are, that is up in Moodle on Google Slides, there's a link. And there's also a presentation for this project that I would really urge you to look at. Um, it'll really help you like figure out how other designers are working with typography and text. Stay strong, I hope that you guys are all safe. Um, I'm just here hunkered down with my family, thank you.